Hi, I'm Daniel Fraser. And I'm Andy Ricker. And this is Tylicious The Journey. Welcome to another edition of Tylicious The Journey. I'm Thai travel guru Daniel Fraser. On this season, Tylicious, we have master Thai chef Andy Ricker. Right now, Andy and I are in Phuket in southern Thailand at the Kimala Resort on Kamala Beach, which is an oasis of natural luxury, absolutely fabulous. So, this morning, we're going to step outside the resort and go local local and see the very best of Phuket food, southern Thai style. <laughs> in Phuket, which is a lot of Chinese influence. And one of the things that the Thai Chinese and local Thais love for breakfast, dim sum. This is uh, it, this is the real deal. This is the classic Phuket breakfast food. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's order one of each. Looks great. Yeah, we got steamed buns and everything. Steam buns? Mine's they, I bet you they have jo also, the rice porridge. Where do we even begin here? I, I don't know. I think we just, let, let's just try a couple. I think this looks really interesting to me. I believe that this is a, uh, a radish cake. How does it taste? Actually, I think it might be taro. Taro? I think it might be a taro cake. Fried shallots on top. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's really yeah, delicious. I got here? This is uh, the green one. This is... It uh, looks like a... Um, inside looks like crab, actually. Yep. And then we've got wow. this thing right here. Steamed crab meat with seasoning. Mm. If you're willing to leave the hotel for breakfast on one day of your time in Phuket, come to the Old Town and seek out these old school, beautiful, vintage Chinese breakfast cafes. Dim sum feast that rivals anything I've had in the world. This is absolutely fabulous. Amazing. The rewards are plentiful in Old, in old Town Phuket. Right now, Andy and I are at the Mudong restaurant. So what you crab. Daniel, look at Andy. Nice, Sabate, to meet nice to you. meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, Mamudong. What is what uh, kind of food do you have? Low Phuket local food. So what's the most famous menu? It's a macro fish. So can can we go in the kitchen and take a look? Of course. This way, please. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this. <laughs> so here we are in this. Beautiful setting overlooking a little little uh, creek with the mangroves. And Andy, what have, what have we got here? What are, what are all these things? Wow, let's take a look. So I think this is uh, fish meat that they've already cut up and chopped yeah. or ground. And, and Oyster sauce, shrimp paste, curry paste. And this one looks like that famous secret ingredient, <laughs> turmeric, coconut cream, the mackerel fish. Yeah. How do you begin? How do you make this? Uh, the Fresh first, we, we, take, we take out this one. Oh. You they take, take out the, the they take out the gills yes. first. Okay. This, this after exactly. that, What's next? We you're gonna take scrape, out the meat. just gonna scrape the scrape meat right the meat off the bone oh. because again the, the the mackerel fish meat is quite soft. What is step number two? What do we do next? We mix together with all of the spices, the yes. turmeric. Ah. Now, to the uninitiated, you can look at that and say, "Oh, it's a bowl of chili." So that's why we get the name stuffed. Yatsai. So, next scene, deep frying. The oil is smoking already. Wow. wow. Deep fried southern curry stuff. Mackerel. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. All of these dishes have come out. This looks absolutely amazing. We're going to quickly list out what we got here. We have a, a yum, we have kind of a Thai salad here, Andy. What is this? Yeah. And this this must be the curry, southern south curry with snail. Yes, it's with some betel leaf in it. This beautiful local seaweed that's really neat. And then a, a typical central Thai yam. This is a salted pork. This, which she mentioned, was Todd Mangung. Yeah. And the rice, look at this beautiful rice with yeah. the nice blue color. That's it, because it's the butterfly. Pen. It's shaped like a little turtle. It's shaped that's like very turtle. cute. One of the symbols Super of Southern cute. Thailand. Now, yeah. this is the highlight, the one that we were just making in the back kitchen here. This is the Bayat Sai. How do you do this? You just I think, well, cut, cut right into it? 
Sure, yeah, just kind of. And look inside of there. That's beautiful. You oh, got the, fantastic. The yellow turmeric. I eat it with a little bit of this rice here. And what I love is, oh, the smell. It's just absolutely incredible. The aroma. Mmm. It's a really crispy. Wow, a very rich and spicy sausage. So, if you like spicy food, this is one of the most fantastic local dining experiences. It's a Phuket mm. institution for over 20 years called Om Udon. One of the other do not miss experiences in Phuket is the Sunday night walking street on Talang Road in old Phuket town. This is a beautiful street with Sino-European and Chinese, old Siamese, Portuguese buildings on either side, beautifully restored. And locals come and ply their wares like handicrafts and the reason we're here, food. <laughs> So, mi grob. Now, how, what is mi grob in English? Crispy noodles. Wow, it's kind of sticky and uh, chewy. Wow, a little bit sweet, savory. Now, when I see that, I would think, hey, is that like a pizza dough? But obviously it's not. What, what do we call this? I think it's cow grip grob. Still, still nice and warm. Giant, mm. flaky, crispy rice cake. It's kind of sweet. Okay, they very, very generously allowed us to, to serve ourselves. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Mm. Wow, is that ever tasty? This one is not spicy. This is sweet. Yours is sweet. And peanutty. Moipod, which is a basically it's fresh oysters or fresh fresh mussels, fresh oysters in a in a batter wrapped up like a crepe and then fried. Deep, right. Is it deep fried? Yeah. Yeah. Quickly fried with bean sprouts on top. That's going to be really hot. Mm. How is it? Really good. Classic street side mm. high snack. You can find it in a lot of different parts of the country. But this is seafood. This is the capital of seafood right here in Phuket. So no. that one looks good. Super delicious. It's a little hot for me. Let's All right, you're going to keep it going. Cool, okay. Cool this one now. Here we go. Okay. Phuket is absolutely foodie paradise, from high-end five-star dining to roadside stalls to market food. This is one of the greatest places on earth to eat. What do you think, Andy? It's fantastic. We've seen everything in this market from Chinese to uh, Malay to Central Thai food. Broad variety of delicious foods and drinks, too. Not, and most people think of this place as beaches, but there's a lot more to it than that. So, Andy Recker. Thank you for joining us on this adventure of culinary excitement all throughout Thailand. Our journey's not done. On Thai Licious the Journey, we are traveling all over Thailand sampling the very best food in all parts of the country. My name is Daniel Fraser. Sawadee Krap. Sawadee Krap.